Hi everyone, myself Harsha, I am Pega Trainer at Harsha Trainings. So all of you welcome to Harsha Trainings. So learn Pega in depth all the concepts at its best. In this video, you are going to learn about the difference between rollback and OBJ save cancel methods. Before we go to the video, so a small announcement that we are going to start Pega Training new batch starting from 31st May of this month and that is starting from next to Tuesday. Timings will be morning 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. So we have two modes of sessions like classroom and online live sessions. So anyone from anywhere you can join Pega training uh, like online mode or if you are from Hyderabad you can join classroom training. And the course duration is and the course duration is three and a half months. And we are going to cover from basic level to advanced level covering two real time projects. So one will be taught in the class and the other one is going to be given as um, like an assignment uh, for you to work from your work at your free time. Call us on the number that is shown in this video for any training inquiry and we are going to show you job opportunities on Pega as well as we will help you uh, getting the jobs even if you have career gap after your education. Now let's get on to the video. We will discuss about one more SQL command provided by SQL any SQL that command is called as rollback what is the command rollback so anyone tell me what is rollback you can do the changes the changes the changes that are happened to arrange the changes erasing means remove the change i have inserted a record by using insert command please mute Someone with that noise, please. Insert, insert query executed. Successfully executed. Followed by insert, I have rollback. What will happen? Will the record be there in the table? It won't be there. It inserted plus removed. And after insert, I have added a commit. I have added a commit. Insert followed by commit followed by rollback. Okay. Now, after these three steps executed, will the record be there in the table or not? It will be there. It will be there in the table because a rollback is going to erase the changes, changes which are not yet been committed, which are not yet been committed. If it is committed, rollback doesn't have any impact. Already committed one. If I have to remove, I have to use delete query. If I insert commit, I want to remove after committing, then I should use delete query. Okay. So rollback is going to uh, erase the changes which are not yet been committed. If you committed, there won't be any impact of the rollback. See, in the business requirements, while you are developing or while you are creating activities or anything, you may have to conditionally save. OBA save done. After OBA save is done, if a if the value of a is equal to ten. I wanted to commit else I wanted to roll back this type of situations you will come across if you're using rollback why do you use simply you don't use simply right use rollback after saving only you have to use rollback after some impact only you have to use rollback you roll back conditionally if condition is satisfied you roll back else you execute commit okay this is how you'll be getting usually requirement now see I am going to show you rollback here now look at here so I am going to add rollback here. I am going to add. What does the rollback do? Rollback method is there. Rollback is going to erase the changes which are not yet been committed. That I have added there, and here I am adding commit. So overall, the previous design is same. Two and four have right now. One, three, five, six no right now, and after after. Four OBA saves. I have added a rollback, and at last I have added a commit. Everyone clear? See here, at least I am showing on the screen. In interviews, they will just tell you you need to clearly remember that order and everything. Okay, so focus closely here. See, first OBA save, second, third, fourth. Out of these two and four, have right now. I will write down here just for your better understanding. Right now is there. If I am not writing right now, means there is nothing right now for that OBA save. And here I am going to roll back. Here I am committing. If overall this activity is executed successfully, okay. Now you need to tell me 
what are the tables that are going to have data so for coaching for obi type methods which have right now option for sure the data will be there so two and four are out means two and four are into result two four will be there for sure after two four what are the other tables will have the चार्टिंग table 1 table 2 in that sense i am asking table 2 table 4 have data for sure and next table 5 table 6 will have data for sure what about table 1 and 3 table 1 and 3 have got rolled back by this roll back method roll back is going to roll back remove everything that is there on the differ queue by that time by the time this roll back gets executed how many items are there in differ queue Two are there. One and three. One and three. Two items. Two items it will remove. Ten items are there. For example, ten it will remove. Like a commit will impact entire day for you. Same way rollback is going to impact entire day for you. Everyone clear with this rollback method? See, these will be asked during interviews. Generally, this way they they may ask you. Okay, it is very much important to understand all of this. Online resources. Everyone clear? Every one of you, respond on the charting window. Yes, yes, we are clear. Okay, now let me tell you another method. One more method is there. By the name of the method itself, you can easily understand. OBS save, cancel. What does it mean? The meaning you tell me. English language meaning. OBS save, cancel. What does it mean? It will cancel. It doesn't want to save. Cancel save. save. That has happened. It, it cancels the save that has happened. How many saves are being done before this? Four saves are done. Then which save it is going to cancel is the latest OBA save which is not yet been committed. Latest OBA save which is not simply to tell you the latest entry that is there in the differ queue. It is there in differ queue means it is not being committed, right? See here, out of one, two, three, four, two, four are right now. Means two, four will enter and immediately it will be gone. By the time this OBS have cancel executes, one and three will be there. Out of one and three, which one is latest? Three. Only three. that three. three will be removed from the defer. OBS have cancel will have impact on only one item in the defer, not everything. Okay, so OBS have cancel is also going to do a per, do perform rollback, but it rolls back the latest uncommitted OBJ save. It rolls back. The latest uncommitted OBJ save. Everyone clear? So rollback and OBJ save cancel difference. What is the difference between OBJ save cancel and rollback? Rollback is all OBJ save cancel is going to perform a rollback of only one single item from the defer queue. That is the latest entry. Latest entry means which is not yet been committed. Latest uncommitted OBJ save will be rollback. Whereas Rollback method is going to roll back entire differ queue, whatever it is there in the differ queue. Understand? So today, what did we discuss so far? We understand detail about the importance of parameters at the very beginning. When we rewrite the activity, we clearly understand the importance of using parameters. What is the importance? The we can individually test it with the test data. While writing test cases, it will be helpful. This is one aspect. There are other aspects. Okay, and apart from that, we discussed about commit method and right now step, right now option. Difference between right now and commit. Right now is an immediate commit on a specific OBA save step on which we have selected it, whereas commit is going to perform a commit of entire differ queue. Rollback and OBA save cancel. OBA save cancel rolls back the latest uncommitted OBA save, whereas rollback rolls back entire differ queue. Okay, see, this is not only limited to single activity as I have shown here on the screen. Imagine 
I have 10 activities. Activity 10 is called from activity 9. 9 is called in 8, is called in 7, and so on. 2 is called in 1. Understand? 1 calls 2, 2 calls 3, 3 calls 4, 4 calls 5, and so on. 9 calls 10. In each activity, one OBA save is there. In each activity, one OBA save is there. Commit is done at 10th activity. Commit is done after 10th activity, OBA save is executed. Commit is done there. That is the end. Okay. Now, all the OBA saves of 1, 2, 3 will get committed or not? Those also will get. It is all about a thread. You need to think about a thread execution. 1 to 10 is single thread or multiple threads? When you are using call. I'm talking about call only. Single. Single. 1 calling, 2, 2 calling, 3, 3 calling, 4. Call up. Using call instruction. Till 10th. Is it going to be single thread or multiple threads? Yeah. All is one single thread. Okay. Everyone clear? So, the entire thread will be committed. Okay, everyone clear? So, this is how a commit is going to work. Anything is the same way. That is, will have impact on the thread level. And now, another important point we have discussed, very important point is, if you are writing an activity by yourself using OBA save method, as of now, it is OBA save, turn off OBA save. If you are calling this activity from, if you're trying to call this activity from a flow, you know that you are going to call this activity from a flow. Do you need to use any right now or commit methods? Do you have to use anything like that? No, no need to no, use. No, no, no. Activity is part of the flow. You leave it for VRBC. VRBC will take care of doing that commit. And if the activity, you are trying to call it somewhere else other than flow, except your standard agent and all, somewhere else other than flow, in the portal or somewhere else which we come across in the future okay then if it is activity is not part of the flow as of now then your OBA save after you should have either right now or commit methods being used the same is applicable for rollback and even OBA save cancels according everyone clear online resources so these are the internal points okay cinema language behind the scenes okay this is how it works Okay, that is the design of Pega that one should understand. When you understand this key design, then only you should be able to develop your business applications effectively, considering so many factors. Okay, so this is about OBJ save method overall. The next method that we are going to work on is OBJ open. But before that, someone was trying to ask a question some time back. What was that? See, OBJ save cancel, let me tell you once again. See, someone is asking. OBJ save cancel, simple. It is been cancelling a save, means erasing the save that has happened. By the method name itself, it is meaningfully, and it is clearly understood. OBJ save cancel. We know OBJ save, that is getting cancelled, means it is getting erased. OBJ save cancel also performs a rollback operation, but it performs rollback on the latest uncommitted OBA save. 10 OBA saves executed. None of the OBA saves have right now. 10 OBA saves executed. Finally, I'm using OBA save cancel. So how many OBA saves will be reverted back? Only 10th one. Only 10th one will get reverted back. Understand everyone clear? So this is how OBA save. So in place of OBA save, after 10 OBA saves, instead of OBA save cancel, if I use rollback, how many will be rolled back? All 10 will be rolled back. All 10 will get rolled back. That is the difference. Rollback is going to impact entire defer queue. OBA save cancel is going to impact only the latest entry in the defer queue, which is there in the defer queue. Defer queue is a virtual place. You cannot see it. That is not possible. 